Hi there folks and welcome to this week's Bit Solutions for the Daily Rigger issue number 39. So our first story, we've got speeding fines are going to get considerably tougher for the sentences for British motorists. So what's going to happen is that um, sentences are going to be split up into three rankings, band A, B and C. What band C is the most serious um, that can happen to you. And the fines are going up massively also, so if an offender commits a band C offence, he carries a minimum fine. 150% of their weekly income. So if somebody commits a band C offence, they're travelling at a ludicrous speed, 101 miles per hour on their motorway, and earns 20, £26,000 per year after tax, what's the minimum fine that he can be made to pay? So first things first, we've got to work out his weekly income. So if this is for the year, well it's 52 weeks in a year, so we can divide the yearly income by 52. So that gives us a weekly income of £500 per week. So the minimum fine is 150% of this. So basically what we've got to do is find 50%, which is 250, and then add it on to get an answer of 750. And um, the quick calculation to do that is to multiply by 1.5. As we say, it finds 750 pounds, which is a considerable sum of money, and hopefully that's going to deter people from driving at ridiculous speeds. Okay, so on to story number two. We've got Argos. Shame on them, they failed to pay the national living wage. They're having to shell out a big amount of money to 37,000 of their employees um, after they're failing to get paid the national living wage. So Sainsbury's owns the company, admitted this is because staff have not been paid for attending briefings before their shift started. And employees do get an equal share of the money, how much is each employee due to receive? So it's just going to be a simple divide, isn't it? So each employee is going to be due £64 each. Not a massive windfall. A nice wee windfall in your pay packet nonetheless. Okay, on to a health story now. So doctors are now advising that we get a regular intake of vitamin D every day and that's um and it's been shown that that can actually help to stop colds and the flu. So obviously where we live we don't get a massive amount of sunshine, particularly in the winter. So one way to do it is to take tablets. So Gillian is buying some tablets from Holland and Barrett. There's hundred tablets, four pounds ninety eight each. They're running a wee promotion. So how much would Gillian have to pay for a year's supply? So there's 365 days in a year. So first of all, we've got to figure out how many um, how many packs she would need to buy to have enough tablets to last over a year. So obviously, if she buys three packs, that's only 300 tablets because there's 100 in a pack. We need more than that. We're going to need to buy four packs. And yes, that's 400. That's too many. But we could only either buy 300 or 400. So we need four packs to give us one tablet a day for a year. So to calculate how much the year supply is going to cost, well, we're going to buy one pack at 498 So look at the promotion. Buy one, you get the second half price. So that means that the second pack is going to cost us £2.49. The third pack, we're going to go back to regular price. But buying another one on top of that means that we're going to pay a half price again, which is £2.49. That gives us a total cost of £14.94. Just think how much you'll save in strepsils and lemsips. So I think that's worth the money. Okay, so on to our um, Asia story. So we've got Zealandia. So I think that's how it's pronounced. This is described as the eighth continent under New Zealand. So Zealandia measures two thirds the size of neighbouring Australia. What is the area of Zealandia? So Australia is 7.692 million square kilometres. So to get the area of Zealandia, we need to find two thirds of this. So to find two thirds, well we find one third first of all, we divide them by three, and to find two thirds, we multiply by two, and that's going to give us an answer of 5.128 million square kilometres. So is that big enough to be classified as a continent? We'll find out, I suppose. Anyway, that was our What Solutions for this week's Daily Rigger, issue number 39. I hope you found that useful. Stay tuned for next week's issue when we're going to be looking at more stories from the news from the past week and the numbers behind them. But in the meantime, thanks for watching and bye for now.